first. An Orthodox Jewish man chased down by two drivers waving Palestinian flags in the Fairfax district. It's just the latest suspected hate crime in the Southland as Middle East tensions reach all the way to L.A. Eyewitness News reporter Jory Rand live in the Fairfax district with more. Jory. Mark, when we saw this latest round of fighting break out between Israel and Hamas, we saw fighting in the streets of Israel. It now appears that some are trying to bring those fights to the streets of Los Angeles. And the local Jewish community feels targeted and under attack. We need to wake up now before it's too late. Does someone, God forbid, have to die? No. No, we need to wake up right now. Please wake up, do something. Tonight, a desperate plea for help after several local Jews were targeted and attacked this week by pro-Palestinian assailants. In a video that's now going viral, that woman's husband can be seen running for his life after a pair of vehicles with Palestinian flags nearly run him down as he was walking to his synagogue on La Brea. We spoke with that man tonight who was too fearful of retribution to show his face. All along they were screaming Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. Thank God none of their other associates over there that were together with the 25 cars jumped out on me and I was able to get into synagogue and I just locked the door behind me. But this was a scare of my life. A similar incident happened last night on La Cienega, but this time several men got out and attacked a group eating dinner. They stopped the car, they started yelling, they were cussing at the Jews. The LAPD now investigating both incidents as possible hate crimes. It's one thing to protest and drive around in caravans. It's another thing for a bunch of people to jump off and viciously assault unsuspecting people sitting in an outdoor dining restaurant just because they appeared to be Jewish. And the folks they attacked weren't all Jewish. Uh, but that is the absolute definition of a hate crime. That sentiment was echoed by the Council on American Islamic Relations of Los Angeles, who wrote, despite heightened tensions in Palestine and Israel, it is never acceptable for that conflict to spill over onto our streets and cities. Violence and intimidation should be condemned, investigated, and if warranted, prosecuted. These attacks are happening as the fighting between Israel and Hamas continues. Tonight in Orange County, a gathering to remember the Palestinian civilians and dozens of children killed by Israel's military. Back here in L.A., the mayor is pleading for these attacks to stop. We see enough conflict around the world here in Los Angeles. This is a place where everybody belongs. And members of the Jewish community are shocked this is happening here, but refuse to live in fear. This is Los Angeles, California. Uh the United States of America, how could it be? I'm not willing to hide my Jewish identity because there's a few animals out there that are, want to live in Palestine. Councilmember Corrette says that police will be stepping up patrols in this area. If you recognize anyone in either of those videos, you are asked to give police a call. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.